Hello, I'm Glenda Reynolds, candidate for Kansas House of Representatives, District 72. I became concerned when our lawmakers continued to fund education below the legal requirements. Educating and training our children should be one of our highest priorities. Without education and job training, they will not be competitive in today's workforce. Funds for our K-12 schooling has been cut to the bone, with teachers often buying supplies from their own salaries. The number of students in classrooms is rising and teachers are not able to give students the attention they need to succeed. The cost to attend our colleges has increased to the point that children of middle and lower income families either have to take on debt that will take years to repay or forego a college degree. The push for technical schools will not make up for this. It shouldn't be only the wealthy who can obtain a college degree. History has shown that when educational funding decreases, property taxes increase at the local level. The property taxes in Kansas have gone up 65% in the last 10 years, and we have the ninth highest property taxes in the United States. Higher property taxes hurt everyone, especially those on lower and fixed incomes. Governor Brownback came up with a solution, a cap on how much property taxes can be raised at the local level. My question is, what will that solve? How are the local governments supposed to pay their bills? The priorities of our governor and many of our current elected lawmakers are wrong. Elimination of the Kansas income tax for many corporations will not help Kansas or the people of Kansas. Many reputable sources, including Bruce Bartlett, senior advisor to Presidents Reagan and George H.W. Bush, have said cutting taxes on business does not stimulate the economy or create jobs. The tax bill passed this past session has many flaws and should be repealed or amended. It will not help our economy. Business owners hire additional employees when there's enough demand for their goods or services, not because they have more money because of a tax break. Business owners start a business in another state because of the availability of a trained workforce and the need for their goods or services. Kansas revenue was designed to be funded by sales tax, property tax, and income tax, a three-legged stool. Well, our stool is broken and won't stand any longer. I want to help design a system that is fair and equitable to all. If elected, I will represent everyone, not just those who agree with me or who will target me for removal if I don't vote their way. I am not easily intimidated and will work for the people of the 72nd District. I am Glenda Reynolds and I approve this message.